Okay, so in this video, we're going to quickly review how to set up a dynamic fraction in the text of GeoGebra. So I've already set up everything here for my slope triangle, and I have a whole video covering that. In this, in this setup, though, what's nice is that as I change my slope triangle, notice what happens here with our fraction. Notice the fraction changes. So that's a dynamic fraction. It responds the way you're changing the shape on the graph. And to do this, well, how did I set it up? Well, let me just delete it and go backwards. I'll do it again. The first thing I want to do is click my Insert Text tool. I click where I want the text. And there are lots of options here. But for this, I'm going to use Latex. So I click that. Now, Latex gives you lots of wonderful options to set up text that fits a standard formula or setup, even as simple as fractions. So under Roots and Fractions, I click my first one, A over B. And it shows you this, slash, frac, A and B. And it gives you a preview down here. What do we do? Well, it depends on what your setup is here and what A and B represent. For me, it's slope. I'm trying to show slope here. So I want to say that. I type in slope and it equals, and notice it shows it down here as a preview, and A and B are the variables that I have for rise and run. So for me that's quite easy, I just click rise over here, you'll have some variable, whatever it is. Once it's set up, you can quickly replace A with that first variable by clicking over here. And then you can do the same thing for B. For me, B is representing run, so I click run, and there it inserts it right into the fraction. So now you have a dynamic fraction in GeoGebra, and that's it. All right, hope that helped.